Epilepsy is a neurological disease which manifests as recurring seizures. Anyone can be affected, men, women and children of all ages spanning the entire globe. About 1% of the population has epilepsy, which may be lifelong or may remit with age. A seizure occurs as a result of uncontrolled bursts of electrical activity in networks of nerve cells in various locations across the brain. There are many different types of epileptic seizures, some of which can affect one's normal life and can even be life-threatening. Seizures can occur with or without convulsions, with or without loss of consciousness. Epilepsy can have a genetic background or be acquired as a result of injury, infection or stroke. In many cases, even after extensive medical investigation, the cause of epilepsy remains unknown. In two out of three people with epilepsy, the disease can be controlled by medication prescribed according to their medical profile. Those who suffer from drug-resistant epilepsy may benefit from a number of treatment options, such as patient-tailored brain surgery or brain stimulators. Thanks to treatments now available, most people with epilepsy can lead normal life. Increased awareness will help people living with epilepsy realize their full potential, regardless of the severity of their disease. New treatments and medications controlling the seizures are the result of extensive research committed to understanding the mechanisms of epileptic seizures and to discovering new drugs. In order to improve the quality of life for people with epilepsy and to help those who are not responding to the available treatments, further research is required. Therefore, 19 member states have joined forces in Neuron, the joint program initiative on neuroscience. Neuron provides the platform for initiating and coordinating the research needed to help people with epilepsy and with other neurological diseases. Research promoted by Neuron aims to improve the patient's well-being and wishes to pave the path to ultimately finding a cure for epilepsy in the future.